Hallelujah. God is so good. Amen. So I want to say something here. So I want to talk a little bit about the state of our heart and the state of our mind and the state of our thinking. As children of God, we have to walk in the light as Jesus Christ is in the light. When uh, So look, when it comes to people giving, if you don't give to God, you don't sow, you don't tithe. Can I say something? The only person on earth you are hurting is you and your own finances or perhaps your family depends the connection. The only person you are hurting is you. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 10, Elijah thought that he was the only one left. But when you get to verse 18, God said, I have 7,000 more who have not bowed to bow. Amen. If you, in other words, do not honor God in faithfulness and in right standing with your givings, thinking perhaps, and I want to say this because remember as a ministry, we come across so many people. Are you thinking perhaps if I don't give, it's going to affect the ministry? They're not going to have, if you are thinking that way. You are operating under control, manipulation, and domination. And your mind, not only your mind, you need a heart transplant from the Lord Jesus Christ because your heart is evil. And if your heart is evil, you automatically become an evil person. If you are thinking that way that, oh, you know, I would just, no, I would, this money, I would just not. If that's how you're thinking, there's no person you're hurting but you, and here's why, as I said before, 1 Kings 19 to 10 to 18. Elijah thought he was the only one. God had 7,000 more. If you refuse to give because it's the Holy Spirit that calls a person to give. Number one, if you decide you're not going to give anymore, you are rebelling against God. You are rebelling against the Holy Spirit. And God Always have other people that will replace you in the blitz of an eye. God has people that that will replace you before you can say, hey, God already sent another thousand people and chuck you from before his face. We need to be very mindful what we are thinking and what we are doing because you might be your your aim might be to control some person. You want somebody to bow to you. You want to manipulate somebody's movements. That might be your aim. And if that is your aim, I suggest strongly that you get seek a proper deliverance ministry and get deliverance from the spirit of witchcraft. Because that's how you're functioning under the spirit of witchcraft. But what am I saying here? Amen. When we refuse, when God, because listen, if the Holy Spirit don't prompt people's heart to give, people won't give. So it is God who stirs them to give. So if God stirs you and you don't understand why I, I ain't got nothing, things looking worse for me because you're rebellion and disobedient, God will chuck you one side and like kings, 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 18 says, God had 7,000 more aside when Elijah thought he was the only one. Amen. So what am I saying to every one of you today? Let your heart be right. Let your thinking be right. Because what's in your heart is affecting your life and it, you, 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 you become trapped in your own prison. Often when people are thinking you're doing somebody something, you are harming your own self. That's how it works in the kingdom. Because you look through the window, you think, oh, you bit at the neighbor and the neighbor is prospering and moving forward and you don't get it understand why. Why? Because you have put your own self in your own prison. You created a prison, entered into your own prison, locked the key and shut yourself in your own prison through bitterness, rebellion, disobedience, and all these kinds of different uh, attributes or characters, behaviors. Amen. So what are we saying? Get your hearts right and get your mind right. Because when you are thinking that way, the next time you get a desire to give, remember, Jesus is the one who is inviting you to give. 
when you get the desire that you no longer feel to give, ooh, that could be a sign that the Lord has put you on the back burner. And if you probably search your heart, you will probably realize you were thinking exactly what I just said. Your heart was not right with money. And eventually, God will remove that desire from you. And you'll find you can't even give into a ministry the way you should that God assigned you to. Why? Because he's removed you on the back burner because of the evil in your heart. I think churches are preaching and telling people that God, we do this 10, 20 times. God is tolerating it. No, 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 no. Normally, God gives you one, two, a few strikes and that's it. You're out. He doesn't play that game. He doesn't indulge in that so we can preach that and tell people that that is an illusion that is one of the biggest lies from satan don't matter god loves me you out there a trillion times and oh, 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 non-repentant refusing to be non-repentant and you you so high up with god i don't know well if i've told anybody that well i made an error but i hope i haven't are you hearing me somebody it don't work like that god gives you a, tr a few strikes to repent you don't you're out you're out of the game. So God bless you. Make sure you have a good day and make sure your heart is right in Jesus Christ. Seek the Lord thy God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Go after Jesus like the bounty of the rain. Shalom.